seems to be trying to make a comeback to YouTube with classics such as Can I Eat You Out? How yeah. Tight Are You? And Epic Farting on... Okay, yeah. 204k view. If you watch this, I'm not gonna lie. Please don't ever speak to anything that I have going on or anybody got going on. You just can't speak to nobody just watching videos like these. Next video is YouTubers who ruin their careers in seconds. 32 minute video by Tub. It's 25 on trending. Um, Tub had, like he just don't miss at all. He he, he don't miss. I be I be bro. I be so sick when Tub don't post, bro. But I understand these videos take a while to put out. So you know what I'm saying. So let's see what Tub's talking about. Hey guys, welcome back. Oh, and Rice Gum is on here. Like, we know. Rice Gum is on here. Back to another video. Today, we're going to be talking about YouTubers who ruin their careers in seconds. There are a lot, and I'd like to make this a series. Probably going to see a part two coming in the future. But there are a lot of OG YouTubers that I forgot existed, and I just remember wow they did something horrible but i know i'm like mr long intro i'm sorry about that i'll make this one short if there is are you gonna be on here one day not gonna lie yeah probably probably but tommy you're gonna be on here too you know what i'm saying within within the year you're gonna be on here tommy trust trust if there's anything i want to say it's that new music video coming out october 3rd yes you guys finally don't have to listen to cherry soda on repeat anymore i got you I'll guys there with you we hold hands videos, tommy spotify apple music all of that yeah october 3rd be there for the live premiere it'll be on this channel it's gonna be so fun with the live chat and everything i'm thinking november the ep will be out and that ep will have music videos to every single song and that'll be like a list zd tv vitaly zd tv vitaly zadorovetsky mm. also known as vitaly zd tv was once the go-to youtube channel for hilarious pranks with funny and original concepts at the time such as gold digger pranks mm. russian hitman pranks y'all don't know how hurt i was when i found out y'all said who y'all don't know how hurt i was when i found out vitaly's pranks were fake when that whole fake prank wave came and then everybody said pranks were fake i was really hurt because i thought all this was real bro i used to watch vitaly like crazy but vitaly's a pure example of when somebody like it's like a like a deconstruction of a human it's like you just see the bro just decline through the years bro like not even in terms of content as a human bro is declining i'm not gonna hold you i'm not gonna hold you in the hood pranks and who could forget classics such as how to get girls to kiss you getting girls panties and the amazing can I eat your booty? The channel now sits at 10 million subscribers and over 1 billion video views, though his recent uploads don't match that of a 10 million follower channel. So what happened? If we want to understand the fall of a man who was once getting a minimum of 20 million views per video, we have to go to the very beginning, before he was even a prankster on YouTube. Let's go back to when Vitaly was 18 in 2010. A Russian friend of his called him up and told him he can make easy money if he just appeared in an adult face. video. Being broke Bruh. and living with his mom and his stepfather, he took the chance. And that's when this infamous video was filmed. The video was a bang bus film with- Oh, I remember it is. I remember this. I Nah, I didn't watch it. You know what I'm saying? Cause you know what I'm saying? Stepfather, he huh. took the chance. And that- But Vitaly was really- Vitaly got some, some, some questionable origins. He was on, he was on that bang bus, bro. I ain't gonna hold you. Vitaly was on there. I, I ain't gonna cap. I ain't gonna cap. That's when this infamous video was filmed. The video was a bang bus film where the girl picks up guys and fucks them in the van. Though Vitaly couldn't get hard, so it was an extremely awkward 12 minute video. Yes, I watched all of it. Yes, I was alone. <laughs> yes, I had lotion. The next year in 2011, Yo! Vitaly would create his YouTube channel and begin uploading Yo, pranks to no on. avail. It wasn't until June 2nd, 2012 that he'd upload the Miami zombie attack prank, a video where Vitaly pretends to be on bath salts scaring the locals. This of course was a reference to the situation that occurred only a week prior where a man on bath salts bit off a homeless person's face. Kind of a weird thing to base your prank off of, but hey, it was 2012 and I understand it was a different time. The video gained 10 million views in a week and gained Vitaly 70,000 subscribers. This even caught the attention from Daniel Tosh from Tosh.0. Mm. I wonder what Daniel Tosh is doing What is Tosh now? doing? Oh, and not to mention, CNN. Oh. So, a guy in, in Miami, a prankster, decides to go out. Uh, dress up as a zombie and, uh, and, and covered in blood and he starts running around chasing people look what he does to this guy like Vitaly didn't get hit in this video I feel like I feel like if he was really chases this poor guy here and numerous people and they're rolling on it right it's a prank so I feel like he would get he would realistically if Vitaly was like all these people I've seen this video I feel like somebody would have in GTA might have hit him once like you know what I'm saying like just one time 
heck out of them. <laughs> he rolled the momentum and kept making prank videos and started becoming the face of YouTube pranks along with FouseyTube, Roman Atwood, Dennis Rohde, and several others. Saying Vitaly got into a lot of controversies is... An understatement. But I'll tell you guys the biggest ones. In 2014, Vitaly was arrested for streaking the field during the 2014 World Cup final this. in Brazil. He had natural born prankster across his chest. And this was a live event with like 10,000 people in it, bro. Like, probably more than that. On 2016, he was arrested for trespassing after climbing the Hollywood sign. Back to our breaking news, a man believed to be a YouTube prankster has climbed the Hollywood sign. Tim Lin monitoring the situation overhead in Sky 5. Tim. He had a, had a flag, like you said earlier on. It says, I'm back. I don't know where he was before, but apparently he is back. The next month, on June 10th, he was again arrested for shrieking during Game 4 of the NBA Finals between the Cleveland Cavaliers and the Golden State Warriors. Oh. This time with Trump's... I'm not gonna lie, I see this. LeBron for I see this. His back. I ain't gonna lie, security at these places don't be on time, bro. Y'all need to give Vitaly a, a wanted poster in every single event to ever exist from now until the end of time, bro. This is why I'm saying Vitaly just declined as a as a person, bro. He just does whatever for, for attention. I'm not gonna hold you. I just as a Frex effect Braun's legacy, LeBron for president. You feel me? In 2017, he shrieked at the World Series. Like, how does he keep getting away with this? Like, pff, bro, he's not catching him. Like, bro. Like, come on, like, bro. Like, come on, like, the, the, okay. The only reason they called him, bro, is because he fell. Like, I don't know how he fell, to be honest, bro. Like, they just, I don't know, I'm not gonna hold you. I need to get, like, a Usain Bolt on y'all team, because this... This, had it been somebody really crazy, something crazy like could have happened, I'm not gonna lie. He also got banned from attending any sort of sporting event, so he eventually got his girlfriend and his mom to streak for him. I, I guess they really love him. In January of 2020, Vitaly was arrested and spent five days in an Egyptian jail after climbing the pyramids of Giza. Oh yeah, <laughs> let's raise money. I did this wow. for a good cause. Spread awareness by these beautiful pyramids in Egypt. Egypt, I You love can't it. do that. Yeah, and in 2016, he also started in his own movie with Roman Atwood and Dennis Rohde, which uh, wasn't that great. It was clear to see Vitaly was becoming addicted to the views. As time went on, YouTube became stricter and began punishing creators for making edgy content. This was horrible for Vitaly, as it meant he either was out of a job Golden or Angel had to become good, family friendly. He ended up becoming family friendly and now does toy reviews. Imagine, no, fuck no. no. I was about he to say, what the hell? An uncensored subscription service to see his videos uncensored. But by the looks of it, that didn't go anywhere. Vitaly began losing relevancy as YouTube suppresses content. And in 2020, his name was back in the news, but for something no one expected. In April of 2020, if you see this man, do not engage. Run immediately as fast as possible. You have to run. You have to run, bro. Like, this is not a man who's in, in his right mind, bro. This is one of the craziest photos. When I saw this photo, I knew it was, was GG. I knew it was GG, bro. I remember this whole case that was going around with him, too. Like, this is just not a person I would want to be around. I'm not going to hold you. Whatever he did, he, he, he did it. Like, come on, bro. Come on, bro. Local Wawa quarter cracking. 20, he was arrested and later charged for aggravated oh battery God. by the Miami Beach police. Vitaly tackled a female jogger and struck her multiple times on the head and chest. Your boy can stay back there. What's wrong uh, with you, bro? Car, no, put your hand on the car. Put your hand on the car. Just lean on the car, please. Lean on the car right there. You got it. I'm sorry, guys. And he seemingly did this for no reason, but it was later revealed that he was on shrooms. No, like a mushroom is good. I never had a bad trip until that one time where I flew. So I was a COVID. Um, don't do drugs here. COVID his. mushrooms. I was bored. Last thing I remember is just, I'm like, please help, please help. And I tried to hug her and she pushed me or whatever. And and uh, yeah, the I, I hit her and I realized what I was doing on top of her. And I was like, what the fuck? And I didn't even run back to the house. The article says I tried to hit in my house. I didn't know what was happening. He was released from custody after a $7,500 bond. Vitaly reunited with his attorney, Roger P. Foley, and released a video on how Roger was able to get him to avoid 15 years in prison. Damn. After filing in on the case, the charges were immediately reduced to a felony battery, a third degree felony. And after a few months, the case was reduced to a misdemeanor and eventually dismissed. What? Yo, I ain't gonna hold you. His lawyer definitely, definitely is needs to tap in with YNW Melly, bro. I don't know how. Do y'all know how crazy that is, bro? Dog, that's a battery. Yo, 
Yo, his lawyer is actually, yo, his lawyer needs to actually, Thanos' lawyer is all good. Bro, I ain't gonna lie, shout out to his lawyer, bro, because that's like a, bro got that tar charge expunged. That charge don't even exist no more, bro. Like, if I speak, I'll be in trouble. I feel like if the charges got dropped because you have a really good lawyer, I don't know why you would make a video on it. It kind of seems like a big fuck you to the woman that got attacked. Like, hey, I avoided 15 years in jail because I got a good lawyer. It's kind of a weird video to make. Fast forward to 2022 and Vitaly seems to be trying to make a comeback to YouTube with classics such as, can I eat you out? How yeah. tight are you? And epic farting on- Okay, yeah, 204k view. If you watch this, I'm not gonna lie, please don't ever speak to anything that I have going on or anybody got going on. You just can't speak to nobody just watching videos like these. You have to be, like, you gotta be a bot. You got, you have to be a bot, bro. Like, there's no way. Rye, you need to do this. <laughs> How tight, like, bro, why, what are these titles, bro? On Girls Prank. Someone needs to you tell have to be 13 watching 2015 this. anymore. He even does the what's up, guys intro unironically, and it's it's pretty sad. What's up, villains? Welcome to another video. The prank format on YouTube isn't what it used to be. Great examples of new prank channels are Balin Levine, Loaf, Kaisen Nat, mm. Jideon, right. and the list goes on. But these new era of prank channels have one thing in common. They all have a lovable main character. With Vitaly, it's going to be hard for him to gain an audience again, especially after being a woman beater. But I guess we'll see what's next for Vitaly. Ten is Yo, lawyer, why is hold up? on, guys. Someone's knocking at my door. Mm. Who that? Oh, I thought that boy, yo, I thought Vitaly was about to walk in, bro. I'm not going to, I don't know why I expected Vitaly to, to pull out in the room. I ain't going to cap. Hey, buddy, you're under arrest. What do you mean I'm under arrest? Because you don't have the new Earl drop. W plug, W plug. What the fuck are you talking about? You know, Earl, the br We're going to skip it because we just want to watch the video. But W, oh. w merch, y'all got enough support. Uh, tell him on his merch, you know what I'm saying? I know he worked hard on that. Fan of his in 2000. Oh, yeah. rice gum the story of brian lee is a really upsetting one as i was a bit now with rice gum bro rice gum did it to himself am i being honest bro i used to i used to watch rice gum bro like i used to i don't know was i the only one who really was watching rice gum diss tracks i used to think rice gum diss tracks was the hardest thing in the world bro you know what i'm saying i don't i don't know if that's just me but i was really watching all the rice gum diss tracks the kids must be stopping i was like yo this is really fire. Like he's really, he's really spitting facts, man. And then every video would be like this. Hey, what's up, guys? It's it's Rice here. And today I seen Jacob Satorius. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. These kids must be stopped. These musically kids just really getting out of hands. I I just can't stop it. But yeah, man. Um, if you enjoyed the video, then like, bro, it would literally always be that video with the one night music in the back, bro. Like it, it was, it was. Crazy, bro. Black old Uji. But it's his fault he fell off. Like, it's really his Back fault. Back in 2016, it was definitely a, a different era. We had YouTubers such as Leafy, Pyrocynical, Grady Underrated, Drama Alert, H3H3, no. H3, These are crazy Idubs, photos. Filthy Frank. And yes, some of those YouTubers still upload to this oh, day. Oh, my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. Shop. Sixteen. Gum. The story of Brian Lee is a really upsetting one, as I was a big fan of his in 2016. Back in 2016, it was definitely a, a different era. We had YouTubers such as Leafy, Pyrocynical, Great A Under A, Drama Alert, H3H3, Idubs, Filthy Frank, and yes, some of those YouTubers still upload to this day, such as Pyrocynical. Shout out Pyrocynical. If you know me, that's crazy, because... I look up to you. But we're talking about Rice Gum in specific. I made a video dissecting Rice Gum's fall off last year. So if you want a more in depth you, version of that, you can watch that after this one. Anyway, Rice Gum initially blew up off his These Kids Must Be Stopped series, a series where he makes fun of cringeworthy kids on the Musically app. Yeah, baby, I don't know if you guys heard it. This fucker just said, I'll be drunk texting you. To be honest, I did some research. Jake Victoria was not 13. on time. In. The public Yo, absolutely love these videos. And he I don't know how many of y'all remember Jacob Victoria's, bro. That might be, that might be, I'm glad. If you don't remember Jacob Victoria's, I'm honestly glad. Because Jacob Victoria's is actually probably one of the best artists of our generation. Baby, for my kids, then you can wear my sweatshirt. Y'all just don't understand the times, bro. Y'all just don't understand. 
<laughs> y'all just don't understand the times, this man. This makes me want to rip my ears off. In GTA, bro, y'all just, just don't understand the times, bro. That's a, that's a really a classic. Later, he reached the 1 million subscriber mark. He continued roasting other influencers, and the main thing people looked forward to so in better than Soul Train? Diss tracks. Yo, our fans are little kids under the age of 12. So I used to think it was so hard, bro. look like an elf. <laughs> you think I'm trying to roast you, but I'm just trying to help. Psych. I'm just here to give you this L. <gasps> ah, this is so hard to watch. Now back. these this is tracks so, uh, weren't good, but I'm about to go chat. I really, as time went on, I really was really like here to give you this L. Right oh my God, Rice Gum really did talk. Ah. Now, ah. these diss tracks weren't good, but they were extremely entertaining I at the time. So As time went on, he only grew and was becoming a mainstream YouTuber. It was great seeing this 19-year-old achieve his dreams. But on January 14th, 2017, he uploaded a video which many fans to this day claim was the beginning of his demise. Finally moving out of my mom's house is a video where Ricegum kind of just tells the audience he's moving. He did move, but three months later, he moved again into the Los Angeles Clout House, an influencer house founded by FaZe Banks, which mm. included Alyssa Violet, Summer Rae, Wolfie Raps, Phase K and some other forgettable people. What happened to what happened to Wolfie Raps? I ain't gonna lie, Wolfie Raps literally fell off the the you know like Wolfie Raps actually does not exist as a person no more. I don't know what happened to him, bro. People. And I don't mean that in a mean way. Like some people in there were genuinely forgettable. Now this is where Ricegum's downfall truly began. Not statistically though. I mean he peaked in popularity at this house. Bigger videos, better production, more money more fame, but that all came with a big ego. You see, if there's anything I've learned from doing research of YouTubers rise that and was falls, the celebrities rise and falls, it's to never get a big ego. That will just no, no. make yeah, sure he had a big ego like crazy. But I'm okay. going off track now. Then one day, iDubs uploaded a content <sighs> cop on Rice. Yo, iDubs, bring back the content cop, bro. I ain't gonna lie, we need those, bro. With your, chat, if iDubs, iDubs making a, I don't know if y'all used to watch the content cops, but iDubs making a content cop on you was like, equivalent to your whole channel being deleted bro there's only a couple people who actually survived the content cop bro like if you got a content cop made on you you was your channel was never the same bro promise you was never the same Scum. A video where Ian completely rips Ricegum apart for being an arrogant, money-fueled YouTuber. He is extremely insecure, and he makes it very obvious when he uploads videos like this, where he Except Kingstar. how much money Kingstar was good after a content cop. There's like this video that has been going crazy viral, and basically in the video he shows how much money YouTube has paid him. Everyone just giving him so much props, like everyone loves him. This dude is getting so much street credit, I'm like... I want some street cred too. Last month I made a roughly sixty thousand uh, dollars. I mean, it's okay. It is actually my lowest paid Scares month theory. once again. Now y'all know, y'all know I, I rock with Scares. Any, hey, what's up, guys? The Scares here. Scares better than Keemstar. I don't care what nobody says. Got twenty million views. I'm not sure what odds he's trying to improve. The odds that a, a female will finally see him as a suitable sex candidate because he has money, or the odds that his child fan base will revere him more as a god. After this, Brian's videos began receiving a ton of dislikes. Now this, to other people, is Ricegum's downfall. Yo, I'll bro. explain later why it wasn't. After this, his content began getting more. <laughs> uh, back, kill. Like blue, look at these but titles, hey, bro. They got views, right? Then he got into this Yo, mystery. On, his content began getting more uh, lewd. But What is going on in 2018, bro? Yo, chat. Imagine, imagine I blow up chat and get everything that I ever wanted in life. And then instead of the videos I've been making, and y'all y'all would think the videos will get better as more popular that you get, but the videos just start getting worse. Like I just start making videos with this type. <laughs> like, yo, like imagine your favorite YouTuber just doing all this. Like he don't even make diss tracks no more at this point. Oh my God. Like this is, this is just like, but hey, they got views, right? Then he got into this mystery box scamming situation where he I didn't even this. apologize. He just pointed fingers and was like, hey, they did it too. There's this YouTuber named Reaction Time. He actually has more subscribers Reaction than me. I don't about. know how because he's not cooler than me. But anyways, he made the same type of video. The same type of video, Sky like three months ago. No one said anything. It wasn't a problem back then. Look, look, look. All these guys right here, right? They're in David Dobrik's crew, whatever. They're influential, got kid fans. Same thing, opened up boxes. This was three weeks ago, way before I was doing it. Why did no one bring it up three weeks ago or even talk about these guys? It seems like after this, he just started uploading extremely. Who's the better kisser? Ignoring my girlfriend for 24 hours. I walked through. Ah, uh, this is not a good title. You know why? If you know, you know. My girlfriend get. Girlfriend Fortnite distraction challenge. 
girlfriend's tattoos my name on her body. inconsistently oh, fast man. forward to 2021 and he became a full-time twitch streamer the last the general public heard from him was when he was beefing with ksi and then with aiden ross which by the way i don't oh, know yeah, if that do was real that. or not considering they lived in the same fucking house but quite frankly i don't care enough to look more into that ricegum's main channel hasn't seen an upload since 2020 and same with his 2020 he doesn't Yo. tweet or post on instagram the times when he's most seen is on his girlfriend's tiktok but personally i truly believe that january 14th 2017 Yo, crazy bro comes downfall again not numbers wise it's almost 2023 bro wise. moving to la doesn't mean you're gonna turn into this clout Fish kid, demon, thank but you if you let one. the lifestyle consume you it will turn into someone no one wants to support i really would be interested in seeing brian return to youtube with a more humble and charismatic attitude and all the credit he made his bag and left he even started the entire diss track trend on youtube but his image Nobody's will always doing be remembered no more. as the arrogant hype beast who let fame get to his head Call me Carson. Carson mm. King, aka. I'm not gonna lie. I know a lot of people watched, bro. I've never watched like a Carl, a Call Me Carson video in my life. Like I, I, I can't name a single video. I, I, I heard like a little bit about what happened, but then I heard that people didn't care. Da, 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 da. So he's gonna have to update me on exactly what happened. But I've never watched. Yo, Sky, T up. You have to say EDP. Don't say that that other word in here, bro. We are on Twitch, bro. Relax. Um. I ain't going to hold you, bro. I've never watched a single one of his videos in my lifetime. I'm not going to lie to you. Call Me Carson is a YouTuber who peaked at 2.9 million subscribers. And ever since the incident, his subscriber count has been trickling down. He began his YouTube journey by uploading Minecraft videos to his first two channels, which were called GamerCraft157 and Icebox Carson, before eventually moving to the Call Me Carson channel. His channel started taking off in 2006. Bro said five ads. Bro, you have a crown next to your... Yo, yo. You have a crown... Like, bro, like, okay. Complaining about an ad when you have a crown next to your name is like complaining about a test when you have a cheat sheet right next to you. It's like, it literally actually makes no sense, but you know. Seen with videos focusing on Discord trolling, reviewing internet media, and playing video games with his friends. The momentum continued, and the official name of his friend group became Lunch Club. It consisted of Call Me Carson, It's Joko, J Schlatt, Slimesicle, Ted Nevison, I don't watch Box, these, Travis, these Connor Eats Pants, and C Scoop. I hope I pronounced all of those right. I am so used to calling Ted Nevison Ted Nevision, but I get corrected a lot. It seemed like nothing could go wrong for this friend group, and especially the leader, Call Me Carson. But on January 12th, uh, the video was uploaded to Drama Alert of all places with the title call me carson's serious allegations lunch club interview in this video lunch club members hugbox and travis explained that carson has been having inappropriate conversations with underage fans this included the exchangement of lewd images as well this information mm. was told to them by carson himself that same day a twitter user whose information you know, Garn, just one person. said this on twitter i can personally come out and say that i've been groomed by carson i have talked to many people and never came out about this since now at the time i was still 17 and in high school here's a few things he said to me all right guys i hate this dirt that's, I'm not going to hold you, bro. I don't know everything about this situation. I, I'm not going to act like I do. But that's why you just better off not talking to a lot of people online, bro. You just, I don't know. You live longer when you talk to less people. I'm not going to hold you. If I'm if I'm keeping it, if I'm keeping it a stack, bro. Like, especially on Discord. You ain't never catching me talking to no, having full conversations with nobody over a Discord chat. I ain't going to hold you, bro. Like, hey, bro. I don't, I don't know that situation. I don't know word, nothing about especially that. Especially when they're a little bit uh, inappropriate. Let's let's get into this. I'm scared and I want to talk to you for the wrong reasons. Elaborate. What if I only want to talk to you for the sexual part of it? I don't want that. But like, I'm worried about it. What if subconsciously I'm only talking to you because it turns me on or something? Know, right? Is that really what you want? What other options? Ads. It's Twitch. Twitch been doing nothing but stupid financial decisions. Mm. Oh, also, that hug box guy is a crazy conservative. I ratioed <laughs> him on Twitter once. Yo, Castro, you spin, you, you speak in fact, and thank you for the hundred bits. Um, bro, Sky, you know the question you just asked. This is the reason, right here, right. Just, just look, just look at, just look at this. Just look at this. Even if, if, if it's a situation where he didn't do anything wrong, bro, you're on Discord chatting like this, bro. Like, come on, let's keep it a stack here, chat. I don't care if it's facts or it's not facts or it's it's, it's morally right or. It's not the problem. Biggest issue I have is that you are texting like this on Discord, bro. Like, so Carson groomed multiple minors when he was 19. His friends told him to seek help and stop, and he just said fuck that and continued. Basically, watched Schlatt's video on it called Carson. 
Oh wow. That's why why well, I, I don't care to know about all his details and all his business and everything like like that, you know what I'm saying? Um I, I just if if this if, I don't know if the screenshots are, are real or not, Ryan, you know what I'm saying? But like, like if they is and he's texting house. like this on Discord, that's crazy. I ain't gonna cap are there also what thank you for the, uh the month I appreciate know. you all i know is the every time i jack you. off now i have a really hard time not thinking of you i guess my brain got stimulated and now it wants more you know sorry i was in school but yeah i get that uh what if we read on snap and next time you're horny we can have some fun again i just don't want that to be the only thing we do you know <laughs> yeah but fuck surviving cars hard to resist so are you i feel like this is all my fault Damn, if anything, it's my fault because I can't control myself. Fucking hell. I want to, but it's a bad idea. I'm not gonna lie. I'm scared of getting your hopes up or something. I'm willing to try, but it's such a bad idea. But so is sexting you. Fuck. Carson later revealed in his Discord that the texts were real. Long story short, when I was 19, I sexted a couple of viewers that were- On Discord is crazy. I'm not gonna lie. On Discord is, is extremely like it's extremely odd to be on Discord. It's just extremely odd to be like I, I don't. I, okay. And some of y'all are gonna be like, "Well, what's wrong with that?" Yeah, that's all I need to know. If you're asking what's wrong with that, then that's all I need to know. I'm not gonna hold you. Don't even don't even answer nobody who says what's wrong with that. You know what I'm saying? It's like just 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 keep moving. Just keep moving. I were 17, extremely regrettable and incredibly embarrassing, felt guilty since, apologized to them both and resolved it privately last year, then Keem got a hold of it like two days ago. At the time, the girl was 17 and Carson was 19 years old, though a two-year age gap isn't anything to glance about. I guess people did because one, this is a famous YouTuber and it's easy to like nitpick anything a famous person does. Two, even though the age of consent in the majority of the United States is 16, talking to people that are under 18 on the internet is like a well-known no-no thing to do, especially if you're famous. And three, people yeah, argue wasn't that the there was a power dynamic, you. which honestly is something I do agree with. I mean, think about it. If you're a big- it's, dude, Charlie's drip. I don't know if you're like listening to the stream with your, your ears closed, but bro, he is on a Discord. That is the that's the the issue. I'm about to talk, I'm not about to get into this debate with y'all on whether it's morally correct or not. He's on Discord and he's doing that on Discord. That's the that's the that's the real like. I don't know if you I don't know if y'all like get what I was saying, but y'all gotta understand this is Discord. Like it is it is Discord, bro. Like it's just. Big YouTuber, oh, no, bro, your shit. fans already see you as a god. So asking them for pictures might just make them feel like they're forced to because they don't want to let down their favorite YouTuber, right? Anyway, Carson lost followers, friends, and basically everything. He stopped uploading, stopped streaming, and would rarely tweet. And whenever he did tweet, he would like I know a lot of people on Twitter it. were defending like him. for seven months until a video titled Moving Forward was uploaded by him. This specifically was August 25th, 2021. In this video, he doesn't discuss the situation at all. He says he doesn't want to make more drama and instead promotes the fact that he's going to be donating 100% of his earnings to charity. Hey guys, uh, it's been okay. a while. This isn't going to be your average YouTuber apology video, and I'm not going to make it long and drawn out. I've learned a lot this past year. I'm not seeking forgiveness, nor am I looking to make excuses. I'm sure some of you are expecting some long drawn out video explaining my truth of the situation. Uh, but I have no intentions of doing that. I'd much rather just tell you what I can do in the future. For the next you year, think I plan to donate 100% on of my profits to charity. And since that day, he's uploaded seven more videos onto his channel, and his views clearly don't match to those before the situation. Man. So yeah, Carson is back, but with not nearly the same amount of love he once used to have. In fact, he gets hate under every single tweet he makes. Dang. Yeah, I mean, they're definitely trolls that just don't like him, but uh, I think this is a perfect time to- Yo, Twitter is such a horrible Play. Yo, Twitter is one of the worst like social medias to ever be created in our lifetime. That's why exactly why y'all should follow me on Twitter, exclamation Twitter in the chat. FaZe Clan was created in 2010 and began as a Call of Duty sniping team. Members would achieve impressive clips only using sniper rifles and later create montages which would be uploaded onto YouTube. Mm. When FaZe Clan started out, they were all just kids in high school enjoying the most played game at the time. By 2012, the YouTube channel had hit a million subscribers and it was the thing to know about FaZe Clan if you played Call of Duty. Everyone and their mom wanted to join FaZe Clan at one point. I, I wanted to join FaZe. I never wanted to join FaZe. Who is when I would say FaZe truly peaked. This was when the main members of FaZe all moved into to a house in New York and called that the FaZe House. Many fans still say this was the best era to be a fan of FaZe. And FaZe hasn't stopped growing at all. They even have esports teams in every major video game. They also recruit athletes, and not to mention that their main focus is still Call of Duty. Yeah.
I didn't know they recruited somebody named Faye Swag, bro. I just find that, like, that's just such a crazy, like, Faye Swag is just, just a, just a, it's just an interesting, like, I don't know. Y'all know the person I was rocking with was Phase Rain, but I don't think Phase Rain. I don't know what Phase Rain is doing anymore. But like, I remember I was rocking with Phase Rain back in the day. But that 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 was about it. That was about it. With members such as Swag who grind competitive Call of Duty. Also, I can't talk about Phase without mentioning the best member, Phase Jev. Yo, Jev, if you're watching this, I just want to let you know you're a huge inspiration to me, and thank you so much for always being you. Anyway, let's first talk about Phase K who joined Phase. Oh yeah, Phase K, Phase Swag. Thanks to a sniper. Uh, who else? Uh, who's, uh, FaZe Banks was straight. FaZe Banks was straight. You know what I'm He would upload gaming content and occasionally have his younger brother Jarvis join in on videos. Oh, Jarvis too? This is FaZe K. Oh, and yo, they look I'm like they shit, they are. Some of you guys No, Tommy, not FaZe Nadia. I to ask my brother, who is here next to me. Though K never got nearly as many views as his American peers, I'll give him credit for going outside the box and attempting to capture the more IRL side of gamers. And when he would get views, it was- FaZe K, his girlfriend for views. Is, is FaZe K, is his joint, uh, Yannette Garcia, the news, who, who's the one that- who was dating the news anchor, Yannette Garcia? I remember, yo, who was that? Who who was that? Who was who was uh who was dating him? Since oh that was censor. I ain't gonna who's you. Yannette Garcia was on time, man. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. Yannette, Yannette Garcia was on time, man. I I ain't gonna cap to you. I ain't gonna cap. It was for very out of place content like uh water bottle flip videos. You'd never expect that to be uploaded by a phase member. I mean, they brought in views, so he was doing something right. Around this time is when his younger brother Jarvis began uploading content of his own. But things would change in 2018 around Fortnite's peak. K would begin to make videos revolving around his little brother and Fortnite. The views were immense, and at this point, K was living in a new LA phase house. Or the clout house. Either way, it was a fucking influencer house. Eventually, thanks to his skill. Oh! This bro, uh, who got caught cheating in Fortnite and then he was crying. <laughs> Yo, I'm about to go lie. I laughed when I saw that video. I'm about to go hold you. Bro got caught using aimbot in Fortnite. <laughs> bro got caught. <laughs> Yo, bro got caught. <laughs> bro got Yo, I'm not gonna lie, if he, if he shows the video in this video, I'm gonna start crying about go. Kills and very, oh very saturated thumbnails, Jarvis joined the one and only FaZe Clan in 2019. The momentum only continued. And then Jarvis got banned from playing Fortnite due to using hacks in the game, aimbot. Yo, like, bro, I'm not gonna lose you, bro. Like, oh my god, <laughs> bro, yo, yo. Yo, yo. To be specific, he wasn't playing competitively. He just downloaded some mods and uh, wanted to make a cool video out of it. I'm truly like so sorry, Epic. I know I have to take accountability for my actions, and you know I'm gonna I'm gonna do my best to accept any punishment <laughs> that like comes my way, my whatever happens. Epic Games decided to make an example out of him and banned him from playing the game. No, this doesn't mean that when he goes to his friend's house and picks up the controller, the FBI just breaks down the fucking door and arrests him. It just meant that like, he made any new. This is just such a I understand that this is really his life Fortnite, his livelihood, his life, and everything like that. But like, if that's the case, bro, just don't use aimbot. But like, just to do Not that, publicly. just to cheat and then get surprised when you get banned, and then make a video crying about how you're surprised that you got banned because you use aimbot in Fortnite it will forever be a crazy sentiment to me. I'm not gonna lie to you they would all just automatically get banned. This also meant Jarvis had to switch content. He basically became a copy and paste of Phase uh, Rug doing challenges and TikTok life hacks. By the way, these thumbnails are still, uh, they're very bright. In 2020, he quote unquote fooled the internet that he was playing Fortnite again. He went live and had someone else play for him. Then his username got leaked and Epic Games banned him on the spot. But when did Phase K and Phase Jarvis's careers go to oh shit? Kids, God, the bro. Save the Kids crypto scam. Remember when <laughs> every YT YouTuber was hopping onto the the crypto coin, NFT, the train. Well, this was one of them. This was a coin that claimed it would be used for charity and use the likes of K, Jarvis, Tico, Ricegum, and Nikon in order to get more clout. This was an entire mess, and I'm gonna dumb it down for you guys, but if you guys want full explanation, make sure to go watch CoffeeZilla's video. It's an amazing, detailed video. Basically, they were scamming people. But yeah, to dumb it down, fans would buy this coin thinking that the value was only going to go up. You know, they probably thought it was going to be the next Bitcoin. But instead, the owners of the coin just left with all the money. I believe this is called a pump and dump scam. All the people in that video were a part of it except Tico. Tico was genuinely innocent, which is why he's back in phase now. Spend it until further notice. And Rice Gum, well, he's Rice Gum. He wasn't a part of like any team or anything. He just 
himself, so. This is where Kay's career started going downhill. I mean, why wouldn't it? Who wants to support a scammer? Then Kay came out saying that the mastermind behind all of this was Sam Pepper. Yeah, the dude with Black Ops 3 dark matter for hair. This mm. response wasn't really taken that well, and his views dipped right after this. While editing this, I thought I got the wrong channel. I thought I put Jarvis's channel instead of Kay's. But notice how much Kay uses his... Anytime I see a video with this thumbnail chat, I just can't click. I can't watch it. I'm not going to hold you. Like, I, I can't I can't watch a video with this type of thumbnail, bro. I'm not gonna, Like, you could just tell, like, if it looked like this, bro, I could tell it's just, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know, bro. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Mr. Beast, though. We, we, like, the, we like the OGs, though. But, like, I don't know. I don't be watching this type of content. His brother in his thumbnails. Like, do you not think you have a photogenic face? I literally thought this was Jarvis' channel. I was like, okay, I'm like, gotta re-screenshot it. No, this is Kay's channel. I did not make a mistake. Again, please stop the oversaturated thumbnails. Jarvis had a boxing match, which he won, and he was back in FaZe. Then, this video was uploaded. Why I left FaZe Clan. Where he explains that he left FaZe Clan because his big brother was kicked. Weird for me because Dang. I don't want to be a part of FaZe if, like, you're not in FaZe as well. Yeah. Because obviously me and you, we, um, we started YouTube since the very beginning trust <laughs> all of this happened because of you and you pushing me to like make videos start vlogging you know start streaming it really all happened because you pushed me to do it Aww, i so can respect that except not really because this is when drivers would begin uploading less frequently and get less views and no youtube shorts don't count because those views are from randoms not your fans i right. forgot to mention that they have another channel called jarvis and k where they do upload more frequently but the views aren't there either and for some reason while watching their videos i feel like they're always He's finding a way to dis phase. Seven months ago, I left Phase Clan, and after watching these TikToks, I think I made the right decision. <laughs> it's like I, I get the vibe of like biting the hand that fed you. I mean, even the fans dislike the videos, and it's very, it's very weird. I don't know. It seems like they have a big ego after leaving Phase. I truly mm. believe Drivers could have saved his career by just staying in Phase. It doesn't matter if you were banned from Fortnite. There's new Call of Duties every year right. to make content on. I get that family comes first, and that's like, bro, so I'm not gonna lie, chat. Is anybody even watching Fortnite? Like, keep it. A that is anybody in the chat actually consistently watching somebody who plays fortnite like consistently like like every day playing fortnite every it's not like it's 2018 when ali a is releasing a video hey man hold on hold on hold on, hold on. This is how you find the 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 secret star, a secret week one star in the battle pass. You know what I'm saying, bro? It's not like it's 2018 and we gotta find where a secret star is next to Lonely Lodge, next to the water lodged in the bottom where you have to, you know what I'm saying, build stairs down to go get to the star so you get more battle pass points. Like it's not like that no more. So I don't know who's actually watching Ali A the year 2022 or any Fortnite YouTuber for that matter. Super respectable that he did that, but rejoining FaZe doesn't mean fuck you, bro, to your brother. It just means you're looking out for yourself. It's quite literally your livelihood. Nowadays, Open seven chest and risky shorts and Mr. Beast inspired videos, but it doesn't seem their audience is there anymore. Jarvis had a video get over they, they appreciate you. recently, but it's because FaZe members are in it. Pretty, pretty ironic. I mean, you could have stayed. You could have fucking stayed in the group. But yeah, let's head on to the next one. Kiwis. Kiwis first started gaining popularity in 2014-2015 when he was part of the Call of Duty team Red Reserve. This team was seen as a stepping stone to FaZe Clan. During this time, the Red House became a thing and this included Formula, Random, Nyx, Kiwis, and Game Gandhi. Since we're talking about Red, I gotta mention Red's I'm not gonna best lie. member, I don't know Game Gandhi. Who he was always the is. best person out of their crew and had the best content, and it just sucks that he got grouped with these this team. Anyway, this house had a life of its own. Like, the chemistry was there and the Gandhi vlogs were sweet and to the point. They weren't seen as rip-off phase anymore, they were just becoming red. Until one day in 2016, Keemstar uploaded a video where Kiwi's attempts to justify why he sent a 12-year-old girl images while he was 17. And that had started a year and a half before the interviews. Yo, what be good? What be good with these? Yo, what be good, chat? What's good with, with some of these motherfuckers, bro? I ain't gonna cat. What be good with, with some of these, uh, some of these YouTubers, 
bro. My clothes. You. So now the girl was 14 and he was 19. Either way, it's fucking disgusting. And then he proceeds to shoot himself in the foot. Because okay, so it, you it's sent, just, it was you just sent, weird. You sent pictures when you were 17 and she was 12. Now I believe she said that she you said she was 14. I believe the... you're still weird. Where my dog Chris Hansen at? Why don't you take a seat right over there, bro? What? Kick logs. Will, the kick logs will prove it. Like if you guys kick can logs, get it, like... you're testing oh. her on kick. I know this is probably like 2017, 2018, but like that's just all we need to know. Okay, there, but she said like... she was 14 or whatever. But I bu but but she was, was a month ago. Yeah, and a month ago on Snapchat. Yes. Okay, so a month ago you sent her a picture. Yes. But the problem with that is. You're 19 and she's 14 at the time. But the th the thing, like, I was in a really like depressed state. Like, I. Oh my God, bro! Save it for the police, bro! Come on, bro! Come on, dog! Let like, come on, bro! Let's like, come on, bro! Like, why y'all even get all drama alert to defend yourself on this? Why do you get all drama alert to really defend yourself? Like, and then you defend yourself like this, bro? Like, come on, man! Like. I was in a really like depressed state like I she was talking to me like she kept on saying how she she <laughs> like she was saying how she was so attached to me and I, I was saying and she said how she wanted to meet up and I said that's really weird I don't want to meet up like that's something you can't bank on like that's just really weird I, I don't want to do that and she's 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 claimed that she wants to meet up with other people there's there's another person in red Bro. Even if that is the case, there is a start, bro, bro, this is in middle school, bro, like, you is, I ain't gonna hold you, bro, there's no way that this man is still posting on the internet right now, bro, like, this is the worst offense I've ever seen in my life, bro. That she talks to, that she wanted to meet up with. Um, specifically, and we can talk more about that in private. But oddly enough, this wasn't the end of his career. He continued. <laughs> Yo, I'm not gonna lie. But, 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 <sighs> oh, wow, okay, yeah, so I, I feel like, okay, all right. Uploading and even uploaded a response video where he flat out victim blames the girl. I shouldn't have trusted this girl. I shouldn't have. I, I don't know why I did what I How did. Does... She, she convinced me that I could trust her and it was a mistake. And that's something I will never make ever again. This girl lied about her yo, age. Okay, this is a crit, yo. This, yo, saying this, whoa, with, with Call of Duty in the back is insane. Like, this is, might be the craziest thing I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> yo, this is, okay, this is, all right, all right, all right, all right. And convinced me to send her pictures of myself. Like, she sent pictures to me too, but. His audience seemed to have liked it and supported it. By this time, everyone knew about the situation, and due to living in the Red House, the address was public. I don't know if they publicized it themselves. I'm sure they wouldn't dox themselves so fans could come over and say hi, but their address was known. Anyway, Kiwis got confronted at his own house by a random person, but it was done horribly. The person called him a. Like, the dude filming could have at least had some factual stuff instead of just saying that he's a. <laughs> Red formula. Yeah, the leader of the Red Reserve. So <laughs> Yo, why do y'all be... Alright, uh, Kaden. Why do y'all be, like, giving y'all address out? So, like, I, I mean, it's a public building, but... I mean, no, it's not. It's actually a private residence. But, like, why do y'all be acting like it'd be public building so people can come over? Like, that's so weird. You just always... Motherfuckers just always know where you live in at, bro. What's good, man? How you doing, man? What's good? Uh, you a fan? Yeah, I'm a fan of the Red Reserve. <laughs> is Kiwis around? Yeah, he is. Uh, you uh, you think I can talk to him? Yeah, sure. Uh, you know, I... <laughs> what kind of, what kind of caucus activity is this to where? Yeah, he's home. Like, yeah, yeah, you can sure you can talk. Like, what is this, bro? Want in for that? Yeah, sure. What's Red up? kiwis. Oh, hey, DJ Titty man. At the house and let them. What is what? Like, this is just. There's so many things wrong about this clip, bro. Yeah, what's Real up? Life, the man with the big shorts. <laughs> yeah, what's up, dude? Um, I wanted to ask you a question. Okay. Why did you f that girl? Oh, uh, do you think you're funny? <laughs> yes. That is not funny at all, dude. All right, you gotta leave me. <laughs> oh, yeah, now he gotta leave. After you oh, just let him in it, now he gotta leave. Why, why did you do it? You gotta get out of the house. Why did I. Why, do you even know what? what come on. Yeah, yeah, I know the whole story. Yeah, get out of the Why did you do it? What's Why did you do it? You sent your dick online yeah, to a girl that was. Like y'all is just not the like. 
This is this is the lowest IQ moves I've seen out of any like specimen in my yeah, lifetime. That was he for us. He just opened the door for him. That was none of these people are real people. Do you realize that? Do you let him in your crib? She completely lied about her age. Get out of the house. It's proven. Get out of the fucking house. That's why I'm here. The reason why Kiwi's story is so odd is because he never stopped uploading. He even peaked what? in 2018, two years after that situation. This was, of course, with the help of overly saturated Fortnite thumbnails. Yay. I'm about to start making my thumbnails overly saturated and putting, like, Fortnite backgrounds in the back just because even if it's not a Fortnite video, I'm just about to start doing it. If you see a, a overly saturated Fortnite thumbnail, don't say nothing, don't ask no questions. You know I'm doing it. Fast forward to 2021 and skipping over his new team, which failed. Dramaler uploaded a, a documentary about him and he got dislikes for a little bit, but kept uploading. His views nowadays are nowhere near his peak and it's just sad. Wait, but, but kept uploading. His get? views now. He still gets 92k views? After that? After that, yo, there's, I'm not gonna lie, not to, to humanize EDP, because EDP is disgusting, but there is a stark contrast, bro. Like, there is a very, 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 very double standard that is going on, bro, because this, to me, in my eyes, bro, is the same as EDP, bro, in my eyes, bro. Like, this dude is the exact same, bro. Like, this is just such a stark contrast, bro, that he just can still get 92k views, and he's still on the platform, like, not saying either of them's correct because they're both wrong, but it's just like, are you serious, bro? Nowadays are nowhere near his peak, and it's just sad, really. Seeing when YouTubers ruin their careers but don't have anywhere else to go because they make their money on the internet. I mean, they could go work at their local food for less, but I think at that point of being a YouTuber, your ego is really keep motivated, high, so I'm you saying. don't want to do that. And there's a chance you could get recognized, which is always going to be awkward. We're literally watching these people die inside, but yeah. All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Yo, W Tub video. Tub the whole miss. And I see these videos have low-key been longer too, Tub. You know what I'm saying? We see that. We see that too. Nah, this was a really good video. I'm not gonna hoot you. And it really just goes to show you, bro. Well, not that any, not that one person is gonna be on for the rest of their life. Most of the time, everybody has a little fall off point or a decline point, or you know what I'm saying? Like what goes up must go down type stuff. But these people that are on here are actually like, you know what I'm saying? Like Rice Gum, he did that to himself. Um. The the last dude, I'm not gonna lie. The last dude is is. Oh no, chat! I, I that last dude made me want to end stream. I'm not, I'm not even gonna lie to you. That last dude made me want to end stream. But um, I'm not gonna hold you plugs. I need that. I, I ain't gonna lie. I I need that. That's like a, a like a fifty minute to an hour video right there. But I need that plugs. Don't even touch that. I need those. Uh, BBG shit. Put the back like I'm double heavy. Hold up, triple deuces. Put the beast up, we got all the juices. Hold up, speak to heaven. Eat that by my mama, I didn't admit it. Everybody, she at least, I won't buy. My dad, I'm gonna see that.